Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now you are still in chapter 1 matter, but now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 1.2, which is small concept. So in this video, we're going to focus on 1.2, part 1 of the video first. So in this video, we're going to look and define the definition of mole in terms of the mass of carbon-12 as well as the Avogadro constant Ma. We're also going to learn on how to interconvert between moles, mass, number of particles, molar volume of gas at STP as well as at the room temperature. So the learning outcome of A and B, we're going to deal with that in part 1 of the video, which is in this video. And for the learning outcome C and D, we're going to look about that in the next part, which is in part 2. Okay, so without any further ado, let us start with part 1 of the video first. Okay, so what is mole? So, mole is basically defined as the amount of substance which contains equal number of particles where the particles can either be atoms, molecules or ions as they are atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon-12. Hmm. So, basically, in a simplistic way, we can say that a mole is like a penjodoh bilangan or a collective nouns. For example, I can say that a pair is equal to 2%. At the same time, I can say that a dozen is equal to 12 pieces, or in this case, it refers to 12 pieces, uh, 12 eggs in a dozen. Okay? So, satu pasang bersama dua orang, a dozen is equal to 12 pieces, and in chemistry, a mole is basically refers to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles of that element. So, one mole is basically equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 20 to the power of 23 atoms, or it can be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules, or 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 ions. So this uh, happens. This can happen interchangeably, and it is it is depending on situation and the question given. Okay, and this value here is also consistent to the Avogadro's number. Now we're gonna look into the interconversion between moles. So the best way to look at it is to look at the middle part here, which is mole. So mole can be obtained when we have our mass here. So in order to get the mole, we can divide our mass with the molar mass in order to get the mole. So the first, the first formula that we can take from here is the number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Okay, at the same time, we can, when we have our volume, we can also obtain the mole. So in order to do that, we need to divide our volume of gas and divide that with the molar volume here. Okay, and the molar volume here can be in two value. So it has two situation. So we have at room temperature, which is 24 dm cube, and at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, which is 22.4 dm cube. Okay, and this value here uh, doesn't necessarily need to be in dm cube. You can also use cm cube, and here you can use scm cube per mole. So as long as the unit cancel out, okay? And at the same time, you can use the number of particle in order to obtain the mole. So the number of particle need to be divided by the Avogadro constant in order to get the mole. So the number of mole is equal to the number of particle divided by the Avogadro constant, where you know that the Avogadro constant is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay, and I also given you a footnote here where 1 dm cube is equal to 1000 cm cube and 1 dm cube is equal to 1 liter. So this note here is very, very helpful for you to interchange the values. So to understand more about this, let us look into the example. So now, for example, number one, we have the sample containing 14 gram of the nitrogen gas. So we, first, we need to determine the number of moles. And 
uh, for equation number two, we need to determine the number of molecule, and for equation number three, we need to determine the number of atom in 14 gram of nitrogen gas. So let us focus on the number one first. So for equation number one, we need to find the number of mol, and we know that we are given the mass. So we know that the number of mol is equal to the mass of the nitrogen gas divided by the molar mass of the nitrogen gas. So the mass of the nitrogen is basically 14 gram, and this is given in the equation. Meanwhile, the molar mass is basically refers to 2 times the molar mass of the nitrogen is 14 gram per mole. Okay, so 14 divided by 2 times 14 gram per mole, and once we do the math, we're going to get the moles of the nitrogen going to be 0 0.5 mole. And now, for question number two, we need to find the number of the molecule. As you know that the number of molecule can be obtained by looking at the uh, formula of mole is equal to the number of particle divided by Avogadro constant. And the particle here refers to molecule. So we can do that by using a formula of the number of the number of mole is equal to number of nitrogen molecule and this is going to be divided by the Avogadro constant. So the number of the molecule, um, uh, we can do that by multiplying their moles, which is the moles here obtained from number 1 here, which is 0 .4, 0 0.5, multiply by the Avogadro constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 mole per mole. So now, mole and per mole can be cancelled out, okay? Because per mole here is as if looking something like this. Okay, so mole multiplied by per mole basically can cancel out. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, you're going to get 3.011 times 10 to the power of 23. And since we are talking about molecule, we can give the unit to be molecule. Okay, and now for question number three. So for question number three, we need to find the number of atoms. So the number of atoms, basically we're going to use the same formula, which is mole is equal to the number of particle divided by Avogadro constant. Okay, as you know that the particle can be molecules, atoms, or ions. So for in this case, we're going to focus on atoms. Okay, so number of nitrogen atoms divided by Avogadro constant. So, um, the number of nitrogen atoms basically equal to the number of mole of the nitrogen gas that we have calculated in part 1, which is 0 0.5. And then we need to multiply by the Avogadro constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. But now, you need to include multiply by 2. Why do we need to multiply by 2? This is because in the nitrogen molecule, okay, we have one nitrogen molecule. Okay, satu je molecule nitrogen. Tetapi dalam molecule nitrogen, it has two nitrogen atom. So we have one nitrogen atom, two nitrogen atom, and that is why we need to multiply by two because we are talking about atoms. Okay, so one and two. And that is why we need to multiply by 2. So once we do the math, we're going to get the number of the nitrogen atom going to be 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23. And since we are talking about atom, the unit is going to be atoms. Okay? Now, let us, let us do another example. So a sample of carbon dioxide has a volume of 56 cm3 at STP. So we need to calculate the number of mole of the gas molecule. So we have the volume and we need to find the, the number of mole. So basically it's very easy. So you just need to uh, do the formula of the number of mole, the volume of carbon dioxide divided by the molar volume at STP because it says that STP here, standard temperature and pressure. And by looking at the guideline, you know that the standard temperature and pressure here going to equal to 22.4 dm cube. Okay, and now can divide 56 cm cube divided by 
22.4 dm cube. Okay, so many of you will straight away divide 56 divided by 22.4. However, as what you can see here, the unit are different. So you need to ensure that the units are consistent. So what you can do is you can write the unit to be 56 cm cube. And the dm cube here you can change to cm cube. For example, uh, we need to multiply it by 1000. So it's going to become 22400cm3. Okay, so I'm going to put it nicely here, which is 56cm3 divided by 22400cm3. The unit must be the same. Okay, the conversion, please refer to the previous slide as I shown just now. Okay, so once we do the math, we can get 50, we can get 22.5 times 10 to the power of power of negative 3 mole. Okay, so this one is wrong, this one is a correct one. Okay, at the same time, you can also use it to be 0 0.056 dm cube divided by 22.4 dm cube. Okay, as long as the unit are consistent, you can do that, or cm cube with cm cube. So you will get the same answer. Okay, now we're going to focus on question number two, the number of molecules. So the number of molecules here refers to carbon dioxide. Lah, right? So um, the number of mole of carbon dioxide is basically refers to the number of carbon dioxide molecule divided by Avogadro constant. Okay, so the number of carbon dioxide molecules, since we only have one carbon uh, dioxide molecule, so we can directly multiply the number of mole with the Avogadro constant. So our uh, our number of mole is 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And then we need to multiply by Avogadro constant here. Okay, so we do the math, and then what we're gonna get is 1.505 times 10 to the power of 21. And the unit here is gonna be molecule because we are talking about carbon dioxide molecule. And now we're gonna do question number three. Okay. So for question number three, we need to find the number of oxygen atoms in the sample. So the same formula, the number of mole of carbon dioxide is equal to the number of oxygen atoms and divided by the Avogadro constant. So we need to find the number of mole, eh, the number of oxygen atom. Okay, so in order to find the number of oxygen atom, you know that in one mole of carbon dioxide, it has two oxygen atoms. Okay, so bila the dual oxygen atom, we need to multiply by two at the end. So the number of mole of carbon dioxide is 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole multiplied by Na, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And then we need to multiply by two because they've got two oxygen atoms. So we're only talking about oxygen atom. Okay, kalau dia minta all the atoms, we're going to get, sorry, we're going to get three atoms. Okay, one, two, and three. However, they ask only for oxygen, so we only count the oxygen, one and two. Okay, so once we do the maths, we're going to get 3.01 times 10 to the power of 21, and because we are talking about atoms, then the unit is going to be atoms. Okay. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!